Welcome back to What The Fact Friday, where I give you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And in, oh, no, I said that backwards. Welcome back to Coco DIYs, bringing the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make having fun affordable. And today is What The Fact Friday once again, and I am answering your questions that have been submitted through DM and comments. So every time I make a video, please comment on that video ask me anything even if it has nothing to do with that video so you can have your question featured in a what the fact friday first question what are the best balloon brands so i think commonly the majority of people like qualitex um, and tough text those seem to those tend to be the most um best quality balloons i would say um, they have so many different colors. They also, on their websites, they also assist you with um, stuffing. So Qualitex really promotes double stuffing and mixing colors in order to get a new color. So I do like, um, I do think Tuftex and Qualitex are some of the best brands. There are um, Sempertex and Batalex, uh, which are good brands as well. And yeah, I think that's it <laughs> as far as the best brands. But you know, there are, I have seen some in local stores. So always, always check your local like balloon shops or like, um, not party city, but like the mom and pop stores, because they may have access to, um, to other brands that maybe aren't out there on the internet. So I would always, um, go by there and they're going to be a little cheaper. So I would try and go to a mom and pop party store in your area and try and test out brands there because they tend to be cheaper and also they tend to they tend to still have a good quality they just don't have an online presence to sell those brands so there's that next question what are your favorite balloon brands so first we covered best now we're covering my favorite uh i would say Tough Tex has, I like, I like different brands for different reasons. I, I would say Qualitex has the best quality to me, um, as far as colors and there's no, um, there's no residue when you use them. Cause I know some brands, um, the coloring, the dye on the, on the balloon comes off sometimes. So I would say Qualitex is the best overall quality. But I feel like Tough Tex has better colors. Um, so you don't have to do as much double stuffing as you would with Qualitex. And then I would say, but then I would say Batalics, I don't know, it's like something about the texture of their balloons it feels better to me. They're, they feel a little more um, elastic and giving. So when you are tying, if you use the method of tying balloons together or twisting, I feel like you get a little more. Um, there's a little more give, especially when it's hot outside, you know, balloons are expanding. You want that extra room for the balloon to expand. So, um, those are, I would say my top three brands that I like to use. Next question. How do you pick your balloon colors? So this kind of goes back to how I design any of my, uh, party event planning themes. <laughs> um, I kind of build around a theme. So I don't, I build colors around a theme. So if we were doing Paw Patrol, of course I would have like, first I'd find out what the favorite character is. And then if it's like the Dalmatian or something, I would, I would not only use the Dalmatian print as one of my colors, but then I would also, because the Dalmatian is the one that, you know, does the fire then I would also use like reds and yellows to kind of bring that whole theme together. So I really think the way I pick my colors is I start with what's traditionally matches the brand or the theme that we're going with. And then I kind of tweak maybe one or two colors. So instead of doing black and white for the dog print, I would actually try and find a Dalmatian print if that makes sense. So I don't normally pick, use the traditional colors. I try and mix and match or throw in maybe like a, a shade that people aren't really expecting. 
um, but still in the same color family in order to pick my colors for my theme because I like to use color to emphasize theme. I don't want it. I don't want to get very matchy and matchy with actually using the the print of that theme. You know, so I don't want a tablecloth that's all Dalmatians or all Paw Patrol with the symbol and the logo and all that stuff. I want the colors of Paw Patrol, but I don't want actually Paw Patrol the picture. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, and then our last question is, what colors are good for the different seasons? So I would say right now, what, we're, we're coming out of summer. Um... Colors for summer, I would say stick with bright. Anything bright, anything neon, anything fun that just makes you feel fun, you know, when you look at it. Um, you know, like hot pink instead of baby pink or neon green instead of emerald green. You know, like something fun that pops, um, you know, and just have a color palette that's all bright colors. No dark, no... No black, no no navy, nothing dark, just all bright colors I think are really good for summer. So coming up for fall, um, you know, you're going to get a little more richer in tones, but still soft. So I would do maybe like um, burgundy is really popular or like a burnt orange, but then like a mustard yellow. You know, like the, I feel like those three colors and you could probably even throw in like a navy. So burgundy, burgundy and maroon and then like the burnt orange or even like a bright orange would be good. If you're if you're going to have mustard, then, you know, I think those four colors mix really well. I'm telling you, look at look at go on Tough Text and look at their colors, like their newer colors. I think there's like this. This like burgundy, like very rich, you know, deep red wine color that I think um, is really perfect for fall. Um, let's see, winter, I would do, I would just think winter wonderland. Like you can get away for a baby shower, you can get away with like baby blue or like a really light silver, um, white, like baby blue, white and silver would be really, really good. That's always, I feel like always a classic, always something that you can do, like snowflakes, winter wonderland, um, and then for maybe like a girl theme winter, I would do maybe like a little softer pink, not like a candy, not candy pink, but maybe like, maybe like a baby pink with silver or baby pink with gold. That's one of my favorite like themes. If you check out my October baby shower like the I had like very rustic color very rustic like texture colors and then I had white and then like this really baby like blossom pink um and gold and I think that really goes well for winter because it's kind of soft and I think winter kind of makes you feel gloomy so you want to like soften up the gloom with a little a little lighter color so kind of mix and match the dark and the lights together and I think that'll be perfect for winter and then spring I think pastels will never go out of style for spring um, people think a lot of Easter and like rich greens and um, and always have like a, <laughs> like a hedge backdrop so I think um, spring you can never go wrong with any kind of flower color pal palette any kind of, you know, honeybees, blossoming, you know, any sunflowers, like anything that kind of makes you feel like renewed is what I would stick with for spring. So like lots of yellows, lots of um, tans with pastel colors um, looks really great. Just think Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, I apologize. But, um, you know, I think... Anything that's a play on like Easter colors is really good for spring and I think can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully these frequently asked questions helped you and if you are, uh, if you're interested in learning more, then subscribe and hit your notification bell so you can be here for the next FAQ Friday. See you in the next one. Stay crafty.